All right, so today we picked up a light bar and we're gonna to try to install it on our uh, ridge line. Attempted before and I couldn't get a cable through the firewall easily and I checked some videos on YouTube and it looks like there's this grommet up there that I need to somehow slice through and push push a cable through so I'm going to try to do that but there's just no clearance for me to get in there it's very difficult so we're going to try again and see if we get some success this time here's the light bar it's a 32 inch curved um, nylite and I can't fit it in this grill so I might put it either above it or below it I don't know but right now if this doesn't work I can always return this but the main thing is the wiring harness so we're gonna try to deal with this today at least the wiring portion of it while uh, while it's crappy rainy day zero anyway the zero is red then white then black so let me pull these apart all right so I got this apart so that's still pretty thick to get through that grommet this uh, cable with all three of them the other option is this end but this end is even worse there's just no way right there's no way this thing is gonna fit through the, that grommet so I don't want to cut this but I think let's see if this even if I can get this through raining out here y'all so that's awesome um yeah i mean that's that's long enough cable i think i'm gonna put the switch here of course it's freaking raining maybe i can cover this with the tarp do i have anything to prop it up with maybe all right you threw a tarp up so let's go see if we can push this push this through from the inside so the grommet we want to go through I can't even see the damn thing oh my god this hurts Ow. okay there it is way up here so now if I push that yeah so if anybody has a ridge line and figured out how to run through this okay well that went through so let's see what we got uh -oh. we got strobes my led just died y'all my led light is dead that's not good I saw somebody suggest using an exacta knife and make a, like a slit without destroying my wires. So let's get my razor knife. I'm at my coat hanger. So now, did I make a slit? Does that go through? trying to just make a little slit without damaging any wires and then push this through and see where it comes out in the cab and then maybe I can pull the wires through with that so let's go take a look so there it is comes through right there so now I don't know can I feed those wires through that's gonna be the hard part sorry about my overhead lighting um, we're 
Okay, so cutting the cables off is an option because I found these three crimp connectors. Um, but I think they're too big for the cable. So I don't want to cut them. I don't really know what to do. Let's see if I can pull them through. So we're not going to cut because these, I think, are just too big. So we'll put these back. Had these in a drawer of electrical stuff. So now I don't have a soldering iron or any way to easily do this. Um, so probably I should have a soldering iron, but I got what I got. So let's see if we can tape this to the cable and then just pull this guy through. Coat hanger that we've rigged up here. So this is going to be a big old fat wire we're going to attempt to pull through. Look how fat that is, man, with these. Is there any way this fits? Let's go in there and see. Feed it, and then I'll just give it a pull. And I don't know. Maybe I'll leave this camera here so you can see what happens. I don't know that you can see anything so far away, but we'll, we'll try it. Let me lower the angle. And that just pulled straight through. So it wasn't taped, it wasn't taped very well, so that didn't work. So slit this cable housing. And I'm gonna try to pull one wire through at a time and then how the hell is this going to work? So I'll tie one to the coat hanger, pull it through, then underneath try to unravel it and then repeat that three times, like pulling each individual wire through and then maybe we'll be good enough after that. So I don't know. I'll try that to see if that gives me some success. Did it go through? No, it's stuck in there. So that's not working. All right, so what I've done now is I've just taped them like in one, two, three staggered. I figure if I can get one through, I'll get them all through. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try to uh, pull these through and kind of like in a staggered line like that. I got oh so I got them all through well how about that all right so let's see this is where a coat hanger comes out and let's see under here what do we have all right, we got all three cables up there. You can see it pulling through. Okay, so now I gotta go trim that um, excess cable sheath off. Had to take the gloves off because the tape was just sticking to the uh, the latex oh, 
shit, where'd that go? It fell down. There we go. So now we'll pull, pull some of this guy through. We had our cable pull through, but I think we got most of them. Let's see, Let's see what's left behind on this. I feared one of these connectors was left behind, so that's a problem. So we might have to um, recrimp that on somehow. So let's deal with that, guys. We had a little bit of a snafu here. I um, I was so I got those wires through. And I was unhooking this ground, you'll notice my battery's out. The, um, the negative, or the chassis ground here to the frame, and I dropped the bolt. And I've been searching for about an hour and a half, and I can't find it. So, without that, we're pretty much hosed. So, I've scavenged this bolt here, and that's the same bolt. So, I'm going to have to use this for my ground, and then order a new one to replace that but I, with this I can at least drive um, I've searched for about an hour and a half with a flashlight and a magnet tool and I just man I can't find it it's just it's it's somewhere I heard it hit metal but I have no idea where it went I pulled the battery out looked around checked underneath I just I just can't find it it's gone I didn't see it I heard it when it fell I didn't see where it went I wasn't expecting it to fall off and um, yeah so that's a big problem so the bolts down there somewhere it's probably gonna be gone so now I'll throw my battery back in oh guys does this need to be screwed into anything Maybe you guys know the answer to that. Can anyone tell me, does this need to be screwed into anything? Or can I just set it here? Because I don't know the answer to that. So, let me put my battery back in. Get out of the way. All right, guys, you get the lucky experience of watching me drill into my bumper and hoping I don't screw it up. I measured it three times, so I hope it fits. So, all right, we got that through. Let's see, can I get my hand through with a socket wrench? Man, I hope that's the right. Okay, well that at least fits. And then it's a matter of uh, these screws that I can't spin. What if I take the light bar off because I'm an idiot? How about that? Y'all are probably shouting at me to take the light bar off, you dummy. Spin this thing? Is that how it's supposed to go? No. Guys, this is very difficult. I'm trying to uh, put this socket on, but my hands don't bend that way. I lost my wrench. 
There it is. Oh my god. I need, I gotta get some, another couple revolutions on that, guys. That's not tight enough. I don't know what to do. Is this tightening it, actually? It seems to be. Okay, so that's tightening it. All right, maybe we'll just try that technique then. All right, so we're gonna go there, lock washer. I hope that's the right order, y'all. I looked that up. Push this up a little bit more. Okay, I got about five, six good twists. Eight, nine. Okay, so now we're gonna just rotate this thing. It seems to be grabbing the bolts. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be done. You get a half turn. Okay. Now, can I get one more turn? Okay. All right. That was pretty scary. Put the light bar on. Running in, I, I need to pull the slack out of that. But it comes up here. Use the ends. All right, and again, question to everyone, what do you do with this relay? Do you, um, do you guys hook that somewhere? Do you screw that into something? So, I think that's enough slack. Let me throw this around. There's a ton of extra wire here. So, can I tuck this down in here? Goes around my air box. Black, red, black. I'm gonna cover these guys up. I didn't do that. I could throw some more over top of that. I got some more. Maybe I'll do that. Some more of this. Um, but then it comes around, goes around my air box, just like many people have done. And then. I poked a hole through the firewall back there. Okay, so it's still raining, and I finally found my keys, but I haven't um, had a chance to hook up the switch yet, but it works. Um, I just gotta find a spot for the switch, but the light bar works. bright as shit. I might have to angle it down some. Good lord, that's bright. Um, so let me angle these down a little bit so I don't blind drivers and then I'll put the, maybe I'll, I'll figure out the switch next time. Um, it's been a long day and I don't know how much longer I want to keep doing this. Well, rain has stopped, but. All right, guys, it's the next day and we're going to head to Lowe's. Um, here's where my switch is gonna go. I still haven't cut this out yet uh, That plastic I Need to get a step up drill bit. I didn't buy the one that I can tuck in here. It's, it's really small space I've seen other people do that. I've seen some others put it behind here um, But that's what it looks like if you buy this version of it uh, The 32 inch nylite bar this is what happens when you just buy what you see on Amazon and you don't really do a ton of research but my only concern is this being accessible to someone that wants to come and cut it so I don't know if I can cover that with some metal conduit for instance I have this I found on the side of the road but something like this is metal maybe I could get something similar and uh you know somehow cover this up but we'll see so 
so we're gonna go and get that bolt and that way I can at least alleviate some of my concerns about missing the um, the battery chassis ground bolt threads in pretty well so now let's find that matching um, set over on the wall here all right so the best fit I could find was these metric m6 but one by 20 so we're gonna try these out all right we're putting this guy back and then we will test a new one all right there it is so good enough for good enough for this line of work we got some spares all right, trying to drill this in. No, it's, I gotta take more material away, but it's so close to that edge. No. Yeah, like one more, mm -hmm. more evolution, but it's so close to yeah. just tearing close. that edge apart. Yeah, close, yeah. Can I man manually do it? Good idea. Um, we unplug it. Show it done. That's a good idea. There's even a tape on there, though, you know. This guy, right? Round 10 inch file. Oh, oh yeah. Where'd that come from? I was just under, under this, oh. in the sleeve. Yeah. Still hitting there, but you can work away yeah. The see, I gotta get the the cables. We gotta connect too, mm -hmm. and they're they're gonna <laughs> they're stick out. Around yet? Well, yeah. There's wow. three of them. So now, <laughs> so I think if I just file mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna get close. Almost in, hmm. but now. Did it work out more or now? Yeah, I just is that need vertically right or now. The switch. Pretty. It's pretty close. Mm -hmm. I just need to. Well, it looks like I don't know what, what kind of access you need, but it looks. I think I might be able to get the wires on. Right? Yeah. So now it's just a matter of can I? Have you fished a wire through yet? <coughs> yeah, they're already there. I had it hooked up just mm -hmm. with this plate out, just right. hanging out, just to make sure it worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Been hard to make that look smooth. It's not. It's a pain in the ass. So that's vertical, pretty much. All right. Got a switch. Then. All right. Well. Finished product. Now it's just if I can slip the cables on right. and pop it in place. Right. Where is it? It's the ridge line. Ah. <laughs> this has the, the bike rack on it. I can bring it over. No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta drop off that's the funny. compost from no, no, Ian's funny. tomorrow, so I'll bring it over and yeah, let you see it. Fun. It's it's bright as hell. It's bright as shit. Like it. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's our switch that we we um, rigged up the other day, yesterday. Let me just try to turn this a tiny bit. All right. So I think the order was black, then white, and then red. So let's see. Does that work? yeah all right there we go so then press this guy back into place so we got it back into place and, oh, drop my keys we got it on it's on so i'm gonna call this project done and 
I didn't erase my um, my pencil marks to center this up, but there we go. So thanks to Dad for um, helping me with the step bits and having the file and the tools to do that. But now we're we're all installed and looking good and overall happy with this project. It was a bit of a pain, but that's how it turned out.